we're trying to build a quantum network. What is a quantum network? A quantum network is you know, any set of quantum devices um, and locations that can, in some capacity, exchange quantum information with each other. Typically, this quantum, this quantum information is in the form of qubits, which are you know, the quantum equivalent of a classical bit. So a qubit, rather than being just a zero or just a one, it can also be in a superposition of those, of those states. And in fact, um, can be anywhere on the surface of, of a sphere as, as shown here, where, where the poles are the one and zero state. Now, a quantum device is a fairly you know, um, large, large uh, um, um, concept, but in, in short, it's any piece of hardware that we can use to create, measure, store, transform, and, and or process quantum information in some way, in some capacity. Um, examples of this include um, sources, which are used to, to make quantum states, um, like, like light, um, which I'll, I'll be talking about, um, detectors for measuring those, those qubits, um, sensors for being able to use um, quantum information for higher precision detection, um, as well as memories and processors for the use of storing and processing that quantum information. And so here we have on the right a little diagram of a small a small quantum network with with two nodes that have have, have attached to it you know, multiple types of devices. We can have have sensors, we can have have memories, we can have it connected to classical computers to to, to process measurements. For example, for the for the for the um, the purpose of UKV. Um, but specifically, we'll be we'll be talking in this talk about about entanglement-based networks. And so, the purpose of these networks are to distribute entanglement between your user nodes, or the user nodes are the ones that have access to these devices. And the reason why we want to do this is because you should consider quantum entanglement as a finite resource, which can be distributed and then used up for these purposes. Um, um, broadly, the 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 areas of application and tasks that we expect um, to be able to use entanglement for include um, quantum secure communication, various types of security based based communication, um, uh, quantum sensing and distributed quantum sensing, as well as uh, as as distributed quantum computing. And this is because entanglement can also be used to teleport, i.e., transport quantum states, i.e., qubits. And so you can use this this tool for a wide variety of tasks. And so whatever it's going to be used for, what we're going to be looking at in this talk is how we actually go about getting the, um, the entanglement to where it's supposed to go.